This is Matt Boxberger. I want to give you a quick demonstration of the last steps you'll need to do before you can create orders from Validix. So you'll want to log into Validix and then uh, you'll need to have the PDF viewer from Adobe set up to process PDF files because that's how orders will be created and we'll look at an order here in a second. So what you'll need to do is type this in to your uh, address line up here chrome colon slash slash plugins and that'll bring you to this screen you'll see here the chrome pdf viewer is enabled and down here the adobe acrobat one is not we need to switch that around so you click disable here to take the chrome pdf viewer out and then enable and always allow here for the Acrobat viewer. So once that's done, you'll be able to create the correct type of PDF reports. Then back to the Zeo uh, Validix main home page. To set up your signature, if you don't have that set yet, you'll go over here on the top right under your name and user settings. And right now, that's the only thing in there. I've got my signature file in, but if you haven't done it yet, this will be blank and you'll use this choose file and then you'll find a JPEG of your signature right here so you know I've got a signature file uh, that I can select and then submit and then that will set it up for you so then when you go back here click the back button in the upper left uh, you should be good to go when you are ready then to uh, to create an order so I'll click on this money bag for the order. Maybe I'll do like this. Orders. There we go. And click on what? It'll take a minute here to paint the screen and it'll put the PDF file here. You'll check everything and then down at the bottom when it's all set, uh, click the sign and submit here and then that will apply your signature down here at the bottom and depending on how your browser is configured you can print to PDF uh, using this I've got Fox it is mine but uh, you may have the Adobe one or some other uh, PDF printer uh, and then that's it